Today I'll show you the latest Microsoft 365 Copilot tips to help you work smarter. My name is Sherbin Shafi and I'm a Copilot Principal Engineer at Microsoft. Welcome to Collaboration Simplified. Tip number one is sharing your favorite prompts with your teammates. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the m365copilot.com from your favorite web browser. Once we're here, basically if you look on the left hand side, you have all these different menu items like search and chat and we're going to stick in chat. And by the way, this is M365 Copilot for business and enterprise, not for personal or for family use. Now, once in a while you get this really awesome prompt or maybe you build a prompt that you want to just share with everyone. And instead of copying and pasting it and dropping it inside a Teams chat or an email, there's a way you can do this built into this application that we're looking at. So let me grab this awesome prompt that someone just shared with me recently. And I'm going to go ahead and drop it inside this panel and basically this is a prompt that you can use to say no when someone asks you to do something at work and it uses this kind of planned framework of pause, listen, assess, name and translate to say no in a very nice political way. And so basically I'm going to go ahead and execute this prompt and have it run and it comes back and it asks a bunch of questions like what's your role and what exactly are you being asked to do and what's your hesitation in doing this? So once you respond to these questions like I'm a sales manager, I was asked to attend a last minute meeting, my hesitation is don't have enough time to prepare, right? This is a very common ask. and. You can be very specific about whatever your role is and your hesitation is. So once we go ahead and execute this, it comes back using this plant method of the suggested response, which is right over here. And you can even draft three more variations. So this is typical AI where it gives you a lot of different options. So whatever looks good as far as maybe this one is assertive but diplomatic, you can go ahead and use them when you want to respond. Now the key here is we want to know how do we share this awesome prompt with our team inside the application. So if you notice on the top when you look at the actual prompt that you pasted you have all these different icons. It's this icon that I'm interested in and I'm going to go ahead and select it. And basically this allows me to save the prompt or bookmark the prompt something that I actually showed a while back but there's a new feature. So let's change the title to help saying no and go ahead and save it. Now this actually saves it inside the copilot prompt gallery which you can go ahead and select this hyperlink and get there or if you notice on the bottom right there's this peculiar icon that when you select that it actually takes you to the copilot prompt gallery as well. Now here we're in the suggested tab but if we go to the your prompts tab what I just saved shows up. But how do you share it with a team? So basically what you do is you select this icon which is the share prompt and it allows you to share it to a team right here. So these are actually teams that are Microsoft Teams and the channels that correspond to them, but just the actual overall team. So here I'm part of an engineering team, leadership team, operations team. So if I want to share this with the engineering team, I just selected, select share. And now you can see up here, it says that the prompt was shared with the team and it added this teams prompt. And when I go there, it basically says that me, Arnold shared this prompt and other people that are part of that team can now access it inside M365 Copilot and the prompt gallery that's built in. And oh, by the way, if you don't have a team, you want to create your own team. This is just an exercise in Microsoft Teams. So if I go to Microsoft Teams, if you notice up on the top, there's this icon right here. And if you select that, you can go ahead and create a new team. You can create it from scratch or you can use different templates. And basically there's a whole way of creating teams and when you create this team it'll show up over there in the prompt gallery. So that was tip number one. Tip number two is teams mode for Microsoft 365 Copilot and interestingly enough this got announced today. So if I go back to the M365 Copilot app basically if I look at this prompt that we just looked at and I scroll down to the bottom maybe this is an awesome response that I got 
back from Copilot that I want to share with someone. And if you notice up along the top, this icon is actually brand new as of today. So when I select that, it allows me to start a group chat inside Teams. And when I select that, it allows me to add people to this response that Copilot just gave me. So one of the people that I work with very closely is Albert. Yeah, you know him, it's Albert Einstein. And I can actually select him and many other people and create a group chat along with Copilot so that we can all collaborate with AI in the mix. I can even select how many messages I wanna drop in to this group chat. So let's go ahead and select all of them and select create. So this takes a second and it says that this group chat is being created. You're gonna get a notification. So here it is. I just got the pop-up that my group chat is ready. And if I go to Microsoft Teams and I go to chats and I basically scroll up, I can see that there's a new room created with Albert Einstein. And if I select this section over here to see who's in the room, it's basically going to be me and Albert and Copilot. And all our interactions in terms of me putting in the initial prompt and then the response back asking me these three questions and me telling it additional information, it's all here. So now Albert sees everything, I see everything, and I can go ahead and type in at Copilot and interact with Copilot even more. So I can say, hey, Copilot, what other variations are there? And Copilot will go ahead and respond in this group chat and Albert sees it. Albert can ask questions of me or Copilot as well. And so Copilot just came back and said that these are all the other variations like an empathetic one or a strategic one and so on and so forth. So this is brand new. It's basically Teams mode for Copilot M365. That's tip number two. Tip number three, researcher with Anthropics Cloud. So here, if we go back to this M365 Copilot, app and if you notice on the left hand side under agents we have a few and we have researcher and we have analysts so if we select researcher if you notice on the top right hand side now there's a new section called try cloud I also want you to notice this green shield so basically if you're not familiar Anthropic is another large language model creator of cloud we at Microsoft we use OpenAI's large language models traditionally which is what we're looking at right now but you can select try cloud and if I do that I want you to notice what happens to this shield icon which is your enterprise data protection I'm gonna select it and now that cloud is on you can see that basically this shield got grayed out this is interesting in that you can now use your large language model of choice. It doesn't have to be OpenAI, it can be Anthropic, but the enterprise security changes. And this is because cloud's large language models are hosted outside of Microsoft's data centers. And so basically you're governed by Anthropic's terms of service. And so if you wanna have a little bit more info, when you select the cloud, you can go ahead and select learn more, opens up another tab, and over here, it basically has a box that says that the terms and the data handling, because this is outside of Microsoft, you can go ahead and click it, and it takes you to Anthropic's commercial terms of service. So you have the option of using it, it's just that the security model changes. And so let's go ahead and put a prompt in, and I don't know if you guys are aware, but right now the Blue Jays are actually in the World Series, which is awesome. So here's a little question from a research perspective. Who are the main players on the Blue Jays team and what are their stats, including how long they've been on the team? So let's go ahead and ask Researcher with Cloud on this question. And so for those of you who haven't used Researcher before, it does very deep reasoning and so the first thing generally it does is it comes back and it asks you some additional questions so it says are you interested in all positions or just the key starters should i focus on the 2025 season and do you want career stats so let's you can you can basically say just go ahead or i can say one all positions two 2025 only and three career stats so let's go ahead and run. And this takes a little bit of time and as it's going through its process, you can see all the activity. So I'll come back here in just a minute when, once it's done. 
Okay, so Cloud finished and you can see it did a quite a bit of analysis. And again, this is a little bit different than OpenAI. So you can turn this on or off by just toggling this. And it basically gave me a summary of the 2025 main players. There's statistics for each of these different players, as well as the outfielders, the players' names and uh, starting pitchers and so on. So it did a really good job and now when we scroll all the way down to the bottom, I can basically select this icon that takes me to pages and from there I can export it to a Word document which is this icon right here up along the top. So I'm going to select Word. So here it is now as a Word document, everything that the researcher using Cloud basically gave me inside M365 Copilot is here and I can go ahead and share this. I can also select view more and look at the AI summary, look at insights, look at activities and even export this as a podcast. Tip number four, adding to your Copilot memory. So now if we go back to the M365 Copilot app and we basically select chat on the left hand side, you can actually tell Copilot to remember things. So you can say, remember, that I like the Toronto Blue Jays. And when you write that, it'll basically say here, memory updated, and it says, got it, I'll remember that you are a fan of the Toronto Blue Jays. I can also say, remember that I want sports info only on Toronto teams. And it says memory updated, got it. I'll make sure any sports updates are focused only on Toronto teams. Now, the thing is, if you look on the top right hand side with these three dots, when you select that and you go to settings, you can see that there's a bunch of menu items and there's one called personalization. And when you select that, we actually did a session on custom instructions, but there's also Copilot memory. And when you select Copilot memory, what I just told it in terms of user wants sports information only on Toronto teams and user likes the Toronto Blue Jays is here and you can also delete them. So you can start to add to Copilot's memory so that when it responds, it'll respond based on your preferences. So for example, if I go back out of here and I select this top icon here, this start a new chat and I ask it a question like, um, what sports teams are playing in the next week. Now that's kind of a vague question, right? This can be so many different sports teams around the world, but based on the memory, it's basically giving me information about the Toronto Blue Jays and the Toronto Raptors and the Toronto Maple Leafs, which is perfect, right? This is exactly what I wanted it to do. So that's memory, that's tip number four. Tip number five, agent mode in Excel. Now, if we open up Microsoft Excel and if we select create a blank workbook, there's a new feature that got announced maybe about a month ago called agent mode. And the idea around agent mode is that you can get Copilot not just to respond to you, but to actually do things for you inside your worksheets, like create charts and graphs and so on. So without agent mode, if I select Copilot on the top right hand side and I just select it, it says, what are we solving today? And I can ask it a question like, create a table for me about the Toronto Blue Jays players and I can click plus and I can add work content from this Blue Jays document that I just created six minutes ago. And I can go ahead and send it and let's see what it does here. This is without agent mode. This is typical co-pilot inside Microsoft Excel. So it says you asked me for a table summarizing the Toronto Blue Jays and basically it gives me all this information but it doesn't do anything inside the worksheet, okay? So you can see the worksheet itself on the left-hand side is blank. Now this is what you have to do. This is one of these frontier features, so there's a couple of steps involved. What you need to do is on the top here, you have to select add in, and you have to type in Excel Labs, and when this Excel Labs comes up, you have to select add, so let's go ahead and select add. And notice that this is from the web browser, right? So I'm not sure if the um, application itself, if you've downloaded it, it works, but everything that I've done so far is using web apps. 
Now when Excel Labs loads, you'll see that this agent mode, which is a frontier feature, shows up and you can make it the default or you can just open it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it default. I'm gonna select open and you can see that agent mode is here now, okay? Now I'm gonna close this out and I'm gonna X this out and when I go to Copilot, let's see if the Copilot changes in any way. The Copilot doesn't seem to change it's, it looks the same. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this refresh on this browser, and let's see what happens here. So I'm just refreshing the browser. I'm gonna select Copilot again. And this time around, if you notice, this new icon came up, these, these two lines. So if I select that, now you can see that agent mode actually shows up. And that's after I added this add-in of Excel Labs. So when I select agent mode, I can go ahead and ask it the same question. Create a table for me about the Toronto Blue Jays players, but unfortunately I can't put slash or add the document. So I'm gonna go to that Word document that we created together, and I'm gonna go ahead and click share on the top right hand side and copy the link and then go back to Excel and then go ahead and put the link in. Let's see what it does here. Now this is similar to Researcher in that it does deep analysis and when you open up this arrow here, you can see all the activity. So it takes a little bit of time, but the key is that it actually does something for you in your worksheet instead of just telling you what to do, it's gonna do it for you. So let's see how this plays out. Okay, looks like it's done and you saw that on the left hand side it was creating the table which looks awesome and so it has information about the player, their jersey number, roster group, their height, their weight, date of birth, their age. And if you notice this section here, the source, this is where it got all the information from. So although I put the link in for the document, it, I don't think it used that Word document that we created using Researcher. And that might just be a function of where this Frontier agent is today, hence why it didn't have the plus for me to add it. So that's, it just essentially went out to the internet and got its information from there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Drop your questions in the comments and I'll catch you on the next one.